I want to thank everyone for coming. Um, if we have any guests, I, I want to welcome you to K-State. And my name is Matt Knox, and I'm head of the Department of Architecture here at K-State. I am extremely pleased to welcome back uh, to K-State our esteemed guest, and I should now say friend, uh, Fran Silvestri, and his partner and collaborator at Fran Silvestri Architects in Valencia, Spain, Maria Masia, as well. Um, <laughs> I'm also honored to announce that, that Fran will be our distinguished Victor Rainier visiting chair next year. He joins a distinguished list of architects such as Alberto Campobieza from Spain, Javier Sanchez from Mexico, Stephen Ehrlich from Los Angeles, our own Jay Sieben Morgan from both Manhattans, um, and our current chair, Gonzalo Byrne of Portugal. I look forward to his multiple visits next year engaging students and faculty in our new building. And yes, it's still supposed to be completed in mid-July, so we're still on time. And we visited it this morning, so it, it's coming along nicely. I put Fran to work as well, did a little, little uh, drywall on it. So, um, Fran Silvestri Architects, oh sorry, Fran holds a PhD uh, from the Polytechnic University of Valencia, and he's currently a professor of projects at the European University of Valencia and director of the IMARC program in architecture design and innovation of the European University of Valencia. Fran, Fran Silvestri Architects, founded in 2005, is an internationally recognized multidisciplinary group with work in Europe, the USA, and Russia. Known primarily thus far for truly amazing residential works, as you will see, and beautiful furniture, which I hope you will see, um, they're expanding now into larger uh, scaled work. They have won regional, <clears throat> national, and international awards for their work, along with publication in GA houses, wallpaper, and architectural record, to name just a small, small few of the places. I'm also happy to announce that tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. at the Kansas City AIA office at 1801 McGee downtown, uh, Maria will be lecturing uh, on the operations of the office as well. So if you have a chance, I encourage you to go down and see that. Now for their work. They work under simple values of economy, continuity, innovation, accuracy, and dialogue. They produce work delightful in its geometric simplicity, a simplicity always refined by a play of sophisticated light imbuing profound richness. To not leave here today without inspiration will be impossible. Please welcome our friend, Fran Silvestri. Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to, to Matt with uh, for her, the words and thank you for the university for uh, for the opportunity to be to be here. Uh, I want to explain uh, our lecture in a perfect and authentic Spanglish. Uh, I hope that you understand well uh, all the feelings that we want to uh, to transmit. Uh, what we want to explain is what is for us uh, the search. Uh, or the looking for uh, efficient beauty. For that, we want to explain several projects and several stories. The first story is the Balin House. That is a house that is near from Valencia and near of a golf course. And the, the project starts because the owner that is called Florin arrives from Russia and he wants to, to make the construction of this house in Valencia and he needs a house of uh, 800 square meters in a plot when it's not possible to do that. The, the local urban law uh, doesn't allow to do this big building. So uh, we have to manage the way of uh, how we can do this building. For that, what we do is to read very well the, the local urban law and we realize that uh, this, this kind of uh, slope uh, all the square meters that are inside uh, doesn't count for the normative. So we say, okay, we can do that, and it's, it's possible. 
the other thing that we do is all the, all the square meters that are at the basement uh, also doesn't come. So we can uh, construct this big house in this small plot. No? And then the, the architect of the town hall read our project and say, okay, I couldn't believe it, it, it's possible to, to build this big house in this small plot. No? Then what we do is to, to make this arch roof and with, with a very, a very, very small uh, layer, only 20 centimeters, and uh, all the structure hold with these four uh, columns, and uh, uh, all, uh, after this floor, that is the, the bedroom's uh, floor, hang of the, of the arch. Then this is, this is the, the result of the house. And uh, another question on another innovation that we do in this project is that we want to, to make a special surface. At the beginning, we don't know how to make the construction of the house. We have no idea of what material we can use to make that. And then we, we, uh, we do with this kind of solid surface that uh, is made with this shape without thermoforming, because thermoforming is very, very expensive. So uh, we, we put this material in the factory. After a few weeks, uh, the material have uh, more or less this shape, and we put in the, in the house. This is the, the floor with the basement, where are the guest room and the winner cellar, the garage. And in this, in this floor, what we have to do is to orthogonalize this elliptical shape. Uh, because if we want to put all the furniture inside, and it's very difficult with this elliptical shape. So we put the, the, uh, the guest bathroom, all the, the, the facilities and the installation, also the stair in this position. And after, this is a completely open space. Uh, you have to, re to, to, to understand that for the local uh, uh, law, you can only uh, construct this, uh, this surface. And another question is uh, a, a house uh, very big is difficult to put in this plot because you have to respect uh, the three meters uh, with the neighbor and with this kind of shape that is a little bit uh, aerodynamic for the, uh, the visual point of view, uh, then you all are always uh, facing to the golf course that is in front. And this is the, the other level with the bedrooms at the top. Here in the section, is, it's easier to, to understand the structure of the house with this arch that solves all the, the construction of the, of the project. And here, you, uh, this, you can uh, realize this uh, uh, aerodynamical point of view. No? At the end, it's a very big house in a small plot, and, but you see uh, that uh, the house has only one floor. Also, uh, with, the, with the swimming pool, I have to say that uh, the, the owner gives us only nine months to make the construction of the house. So it's our record. And only three months to make the design of the house. So we have to, to, to work uh, every day and to resolve a lot of problems during the construction. In fact, when the, the man with the machine was making the swimming pool, we don't know exactly if we prefer to make a rectangular swimming pool or this elliptical swimming pool. The man was with the machine there in the, in the plot with a telephone to say, OK, uh, rectangular or elliptical, no? <laughs> and at the end, we say, no, elli elliptical, elliptical, please. And he make the, the hole, and we uh, construct the, the, the swimming pool. And at, w at the end, we are very happy with the, with the, with the shape and with this swimming pool. After this is the, the entrance, and where we have this terrace that help to the structure to have a good balance between the two parts of, of the house also. And this is the, the golf course. Now Florin and Senia, the owners, are very happy because they have a garden and they don't have to take care of the garden, no? Because if the golf course and other persons are taking care of, the, of this garden. And this is the interior, the, the main space. 
the, the surface. The, we have only these this, uh, small lines because it's a ventilated facade. Also the roof is made with the, with the same solid surface. And it's the, the first time that uh, in Spain we do this kind of, uh, of facade and it's working very well. Um, another thing is that always that we make a project, we want to make a gift, an a special gift or present to our owners. In this case, what we want to do is a, a carpet of light. No? They have a, a carpet in the main space that uh, transform the space during the, the hours. No? And for us, it's important to, to, to make that. Also, uh, this, this furniture makes the division between the kitchen and the main space. No? It's all uh, the, the same space. And this is the carpet uh, of light that we want to, to make in this project. Uh, the first day that Xenia, that is, is the wife of Florin, arrives to our studio, he, she wants a very baroque furniture with gold, you know, um, very complicated. We were completely afraid to say, we don't know what we wa will do uh, with this challenge. No? But uh, after a few months, he wants to, to, to do this kind of, of uh, furniture that, that we furniture that we that we like uh, but they also put a challenge to us because we used to make uh, very wide spaces at the interior but they uh, they didn't want to do that uh, they want to, to change and they want to use more uh, contrast for that we use these these colors between the black until the white uh, and with uh, other uh, levels of gray at the in intermediate uh, part. And what's also very hard, another technique uh, question. We don't like uh, very much to use uh, glass in the interior of the, of the houses, but we, they, they want to, to use it in, in this part of the house. So we have to develop the system to put the glass without a mechanical system, not, not visual mechanical system. No? It, it is inside of the glass, the system to, to do that. And here you have the, the vision of the of the golf course, and from the top part. Now this is the, this is the master bedroom, and Florin is very happy because he wake up at the mornings and look to the golf course to say, okay, that's that's my house, no, and that's the house that that I want, or the the main bathroom. And this is the roof that is made also with the solid surface. Now you can look at uh, a video of the house. Uh, we cannot visit the house, no, but we can watch the video. That's now I have to say that the surface, the, we, we do this house one year and a half ago, more or less, and the material is, is perfect. They, uh, with the rain and with the sun, works very good. This is the, the courtyard, the English courtyard at the basement. And we were to make disappear all the interior elements of the house. Like these elements in the kitchen. Television and the and the all the kitchen, all the things of the kitchen of the television. And in the in the west part of the house is completely closed. The house is completely faced to the other uh, orientation because in Spain. The sun of the west part is very, very, very strong, so we have to protect. And then the house is very open to the exterior, but for the west part, it's completely closed. Now, the, at the end, the round swimming pool. <laughs> and 
another question is that that we like to to transform the house between the the day and the night with the artificial light a uh, linear artificial light that is very is more warm then during uh, the pass of the hours when when the night arrives uh, the house is transformed completely change to another project. This is an important project for our studio that is the house on the cliff. Uh, this is a, a space, a privileged space facing to the Mediterranean Sea, but with uh, a very, very big slope. The first day that we arrived to the, to the, to the plot, uh, the owners say we, we are uh, several persons of the studio uh, within this, in this cliff, and the owners say, I want a house, but only with one floor. We say, we don't want to have stairs. And we say, oh, it's impossible to do that, no? But we say, okay, and we accept the challenge, and we have to do the project. For that, what we make is to make a reinforced uh, concrete structure with the less uh, earth wall as possible. No? Then we, we, we do different levels. With the, uh, one level with the house at the top, another level this is the house, at the, the house at the top, and another level downstairs where is the, the swimming pool. This, these were the first models that we uh, did at the studio, but in this moment was very difficult to, to know exactly where is the, the exact level where we have to start to construct the, the, the house no? in the models. This is the structure that we designed that uh, was cheaper than to make a big movement of Earth. This is the, the first models. And also, we, it's, it's interesting the story uh, inside the story, because we have to do another structure to make the structure with reinforced uh, concrete. Then we, we have to do this scaffolding to, to make the construction of the structure of the house. No, this is the process of construction after we have to take the, the scaffolding away and to recuperate the, the steel to use for other things. This is the process of construction. And it was very emotional because we do at the old way. You know? All the constructor, the engineers, are the architects. We were in this position when we could the structure if the house fall. Uh, all we will die, no? So you cannot make a, a reclamation. No? <laughs> then this is this man cut the the last profile of the structure. He was very very afraid to say, "Oh my God, I don't know what will happen." No, <laughs> and but it works, and it was very emotional. The sound of the house when it starts to work, he makes, <laughs> no? and then. Uh, uh, we realize that the, the, the structure is uh, where working. No? This is the structure at the end. We have a cantilever of eight and, and 18 uh, uh, meters. And, and the beautiful place no? is like a cyclope facing to the Mediter Mediterranean Sea, looking directly to these uh, beautiful views. No? And after another story inside this story is that uh, appears one surprise. This blue light with uh, caustic uh, shape, then now is the, the main material to another project that we are making now, and the next year we will explain uh, the project. No? But it, it was a surprise, no? because we don't understand very well the, this blue color in this part of the house, but at the end it's, it's uh, something magic. This is the, the relation of the, of the house that is like a mythological animal looking to, to the Mediterranean Sea. And you have the fiction that you can walk on water or you can construct a house on air. 
this, this part of the house of the stair is also very emotional because you change a lot uh, your atmosphere be between one part or another part. In one part, you look to, the, to Altea's uh, place, and in the other part, it's like a, a quiet coup. This is the cantilever against the, the sea. And this is the space uh, at the same level of the swimming pool that we use to make the paella, that is important in the uh, Spanish culture, no? to have this space directly with the swimming pool. At the end, the interior is like a, like a big terrace, and the other part, uh, the, all the, the bathrooms and the kitchen uh, look to the, to the, to the mountain. No? It's a more private space. And this is the all this part of the Altea's uh, vision, no? The place is, is, is uh, a paradise. After we have the entrance and this space, but maybe it's better to look in one video. You will see again the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> it's not publicity eh, for, from Spain. <laughs> But for, for us, this, this story that tells us more than four years of construction of the house was very important because it's a very difficult place. And after this house uh, uh, was finalized, uh, a lot of persons come to the studio to, to give us uh, another opportunities to make, to make projects around the world. So maybe a simple house uh, sometimes is more important than a big project to, to, uh, to uh, uh, start to, to make projects. by the, the plot of land was the cheapest plot in all the area. And after we realized that maybe it's impossible to, to, to build a house there. And the, the men that say that it's possible to, to make a house there uh, didn't go to the, to the plot. No? To, it's an important mountain, Puch Campana. And here also the kitchen is integrated in the, in the main space because it's not a very big space, so at the end all the house is like a, a terrace. You can open all this window and now it's, it's very good to be in this, in this place no? because you have the wind crossing all the, all the house and you don't need air condition and it's very traditional the, the system of, of condition of the house, the air condition of the house. next story is the, the house between the pine forest. No? This story is, is, um, is a very challenge for us because uh, the problem is was that we have an old house uh, that uh, is from the same family for a lot of generations and they do a lot of intervention, interventions. Each uh, uh, family or each part of the family do a new part of the house and with a different system of construction in a different moment. So at the end, uh, the, the house was a, a confusion, uh, incredible confusion. No? 
So um, we, we prefer to destroy the house and to do a new one. No? But the owners say that it's impossible. No? You cannot do it. And we say, it's, it's more cheap, and it, we will do it more quickly. And they say, no. They are all our, our, um, our things and our stories of our family is in this, in this plot. So you cannot destroy the house and you have to maintain the structure, you have to maintain of the program in, in the same uh, part of the house, and you have to change completely the identity of the house. We say, oh, wow, it's this. we don't know if we can do it, no? Uh, but, but we do, no? And then uh, we start to make this kind of uh, a small town, uh, also with a system of aggregation of simple pieces, at, at the beginning, we, we, we uh, start with uh, a slope roof, but at the end, uh, in the process, they add part of the program. In one moment, they said, we need an interior swimming pool at the middle of the, of the project. Okay, uh, uh, interior swimming pool is a big space, no? <laughs> it needs uh, more space, so we need a new part of the house. After they need a guest space that is uh, here. But what we do is, to respect all the, the structure, to respect all the spaces, respect the levels of the interior house, and to do a, a new house. This is the old uh, house, and this is the new one. See that, then appears a lot of surprises for us, because we don't use to do this kind of, of irregular levels and, uh, or irregular eyes, and we have to do, because it, it was necessary. The old house, uh, the, the foundation of the old house, always look for the, the best earth. No? So we have to respect all the, all the levels to uh, construct the, the new one. And this is the result. No? The swimming pool, we only transform the, the material of the swimming pool. That always happens with us that uh, the owners want to have a very uh, strong blue in the swimming pool but we want to put the same white marble inside of the swimming pool. No? And at the beginning, we don't know exactly if the uh, swimming pool will be very blue, but at the end, when you, we fill the, all the, the swimming pool, it's, it's uh, uh, quite nice. No? And this is the result of the exterior space, only with the movement of these uh, boxes, and all the platforms and all the levels that respect the, the original the original house. And now we love a lot the, the result of this kind of uh, Mediterranean courtyards, very different. And we work a lot with the stairs changing uh, because uh, copy a little bit the, the Scarpa work, no? trying to make disappear the idea of the stair and, and, and to transform. And also in the, in the interior swimming pool, we do this uh, skylight with mirrors and then the quality of the light in the interior uh, makes seems that you are in the exterior. You have a lot of uh, interior and powerful exterior light, so you seem that you are in at the exterior. Also with the garage, and look, this is the the interior space, and we have uh, the the age here is is very low. We have two and uh, forty uh, centimeters. Uh, two meters and 40 centimeters. So we need to put this white marble because the light, uh, the reflection of the light ma makes the light to go inside. And then we use this uh, good in the, to, in the furniture to make disappear the structure that is inside and to make a little bit more warm the, the house. This is the double height of the space in the, in the library or the kitchen that we want to move the kitchen of position but the owner said, impossible. The, owner, the kitchen must be in the same position. Mm -hmm. And okay, we respect. And here is a video of the house also that. Now this is a, also a beautiful place because it's in the, with a lot of trees and the surroundings. And then they, uh, recognize each space of the house but is with the new identity
let's change the, the project and also the scale. This is a project, a big project, a competition that we win a few time ago, and we are very happy for that. And that is a Mondraker, that is a brand that make a, a bicycles of competition bicycles. Uh, and we, we, uh, we have to make the headquarters. At the end, it's an industrial space, and we, we need to make a, a, a space to, to make bicycles only to, to fit pieces of bicycles, but because in fact the bicycles are uh, produced in other countries, uh, all the pieces arrive to, to Spain and then they fit it. So we do this, this project here. That is a, a circular project that remembers us, uh, the world of the bicycles. Also we have two strong references. One is from Gordon Boonstaff. It's a, in, in Washington, a, a library that is very beautiful and also a fabric that is fiat in, in Italy that use the roof to proof the cars. No? So what we want to do is to put all the material in this uh, storage, the material here, after you make the production of the, of the bicycles and you proof the bicycles in this part and after you go down. And for us, the, the interesting thing is the, the, the main, w as we uh, work with the volume making es uh, excavations to, to make the entrance for this space. We, we only use these circular shapes, and with uh, four circular shapes, we have all the project. We have the tracks. This is the, 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 the uh, level of the access to, the, to the, this uh, project. Then you have a big courtyard here when you can make a lot of exhibitions and a lot of things of the uh, of the of this brand, the you the, the two floors, and this is the the storage uh, floor. Here you can look no the the section, and it's possible to understand how we we made the shape, and the vision no? uh, of the entrance of the of the project. At the end, this is a a facade that we need to make with with aluminum. Now we are developing with one brand this, this facade, and, and then we want to be uh, uh, very transparent. Uh, we are in the same position that in the Balling House. We have few time to develop the project. We have to start, uh, after the summer, we have to start to, to, to do the project, and we have few months to finalize, because it's a, a brand that need, to, need this space to, to make the construction of the bicycles. No? This will be the, the interior space. And at night, uh, we want to, when, when the, the interior space is, is uh, on, uh, to be more transparent than this image, but this is more or less the, the feeling that, that we want to, to do. And now we are working on developing it. We hope that the next year we can show the pictures of the, of the project at, at the end. Hmm? Then. We changed the, the project. This, this project is the, the Hoffman House that is very near from our studio. And the, the problem in, in, this, in this house is that we have a very big house that is our neighbor that is, is here. Very, very, very big, very tall, an old house, and is not very beautiful. No? So what we want to do is to look to the sea that is in this direction and to protect of the vision of the other house. For that, what we, we, we apply two strategies, no? to, to use only two elements. One is this, uh, this cabinet, this uh, box, like a furniture made with aluminum, as this structure with a T-shape. Uh, this T-shape is for protect uh, the vision of the, of the other neighbors. And this is the, the, the material, this is the, the, the renderings, but with the renderings, we change a lot the, the, the process and, and the project because we want to that this space seems to be more closed. After in, in, in the basement, we have other parts of the program, but the, the important program is uh, up where you have only this shape that is in uh, uh, in this in this furniture, we have all the, the bedrooms, and and you go for the less private space, more public space, to the more more private space at the at the interior. And this is the sections. 
You, you also can use the, the roof like a Belvedere. And the challenge here is to make the, the structure with, with a steel. No? This was very difficult to, to make with the steel and to, to look for the far vision of the, of the sea. This is the, the structure that we do it in, four, in, in two days. We make the construction of, of this structure. And you can look at the, the other house near here. And uh, the, the first day that we make the structure, when you are at the top here, uh, we can do that, and we can uh, 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 we can um, we can know what what is the the frequency of of movement of the structure. So at the beginning was a little bit dangerous. We say, okay, we are move that structure that have a, a, a very uh, is is very. Um, it's very strong, and we can move only with this movement, but after when we finalize the structure, it's, it's working okay. And this is the, the basement of the house, and the structure with metal at the end. We change the other history that is here in the USA. The, there uh, uh, appears one project in, in Hollywood Hills in Los Angeles, and was for one one uh, lovely client is called John, and he wants to to pick the half of the cliffside and to put in Los Angeles, no, directly. We say that is not possible. You need the sea, you need the the slope, you need the plot, and but he uh, find a plot with the the same slope. Um, we say that we cannot do uh, exactly the same project, but the the idea was to make a, a big window, the, a big window. Uh, facing to the to the la ciudad of the Los Angeles, the city of Los Angeles. And then when we start to make this uh, this project with the garage at the top, the swimming pool on the middle part, and after all the house facing to to the city. But the problem is that we have a lot of installation in the middle of the of the plot. We have an easement for all the city of Los Angeles in the middle, another easement for installation of the city in this part. So it was uh, very uh, complicated to put the house uh, in, this, in this plot, in, in fact. So we have to, to do this kind of bridge uh, between these two parts to have the, the easement in the, in the, in the middle. Uh, at the end, we have only this possibility to, to build and to construct the house. And for us, it's interesting, this movement, because we have a LS8 of this part of the house in this, in this part. And in the other part, we have the other LS8, the opposite LS8. Then the, uh, that uh, strategy allows the, the house to, to move in the correct direction and to the correct uh, views of Los Angeles City that are the, uh, this one. This is the, the other LS8 of the, of the house. And we spent more than one year or to, to have all the permits and all the, for the town hall to start the construction. Now we are starting to, to make the house. And for the end, we want to explain uh, another question that uh, we start to, to produce all the furniture and all the, the elements that we make artisanal in our projects, we want to produce in an industri industrial way. No? Then we do this kind of furniture for, the, for this uh, Gandia Blasco that is an important brand in Spain. And we want to, to develop and to transform the traditional exterior furniture in, with, a, with a very simple uh, system of construction, only with uh, tubes of aluminum and this is the only material that, that we have to, to develop the, all the collection. Also, these, these trees that, that, that we like because are a little bit bio-inspired. No? Uh, and of course, we prefer to, to make uh, natural trees, but sometimes you cannot put a, a natural tree no? in a penthouse you cannot use. And then uh, we design this, this part. No? And you have uh, different size and it's, it's very interesting for us. And also this, this chair that is, is inspired in, in one uh, T 
typical furniture here in the USA is made with wood that have this uh, characteristic of bar, no? So we make this reinterpretation in, in aluminum and it's, it's working very, very well. But we like to, to, to do this kind of uh, innovation of the, of the tradition. This is the picture that, that the marketing part of the, of the brand makes to, to communicate the, pro the project. And it was very funny because this, these are not, they are models. And the children, uh, the children doesn't like the, the women, no? When he start to be together, the children try to cry and to, to run away. And the only picture that we can do is when the uh, uh, grandfather, no? uh, giving the real grandfather of the children uh, with, with him, with her. So, what we want to, to explain and to communicate uh, with all these stories is what we, uh, the, the emotional thing that we do when we are doing these projects and this uh, search for uh, efficient beauty. No? Because uh, during this process, all the studio, we are a lot of uh, young persons there in the studio, I am the oldest, and, and we work very hard. And to develop all these stories, and we are very happy during this process. And we include all the owners uh, with the dialogue in this process, and we are happy going on and making all these kind of, of things. Um, that's all, thank you very much. <laughs>